Welcome to the Module on Coil Tubing Unit Design and Operations. Let us begin by understanding that the coil tubing unit is a portable, hydraulically powered service system designed to run and retrieve a continuous string of tubing concentric to larger ID production pipe or casing strings. The basic coiled tubing unit components are 1. Tubing injector head 2. Coiled tubing reel 3. Well head blowout preventer stack 4. Hydraulic power drive unit and 5. Control console Let us look at a diagrammatic representation of mechanical components of a hydraulic coiled tubing unit. Moving on to tubing injector heads. The injector head incorporates special profiled chain assemblies to grip the coiled tubing string and a hydraulic drive system that provides the tractive effort for running and retrieving the string from the wellbore. They are designed to perform three basic functions. Provide the thrust to snub tubing into the well against pressure or to overcome wellbore friction. Control the rate of tubing entry into the well under various well conditions and Support the full suspended tubing weight, also accelerated to operating speed when extracting it from the well. This diagram illustrates a simplified coiled tubing injector head rig up and well head blowout preventer stack. Next is the coiled tubing reel. It is a manufactured steel spool. Spooled pipe capacities are contingent on the core diameter. Reel rotation is controlled by a hydraulic motor that is mounted for direct drive on the reel shaft or operated by a chain and sprocket drive assembly. This motor is used to maintain a constant pull on the tubing and keep the pipe wrapped tightly on the reel. The tubing is guided onto the spool through a mechanism called the level wind assembly to properly align the pipe as it is wrapped on or spooled off the reel. This picture illustrates the position of coiled tubing reel. Third, let's learn about the wellhead blowout preventer stack. A BOP stack is one of two or more units which control well pressure and contain the wellhead and blowout preventers. The BOP stack is used to contain abnormal pressures in the well bore while drilling the well. The BOP stack is composed of four hydraulically operated rams, generally rated for a minimum working pressure of 70 MPa, or 10 psi. The four BOP compartments are equipped, from top down, with A. Blind rams B. Tubing shear rams C. Slip rams. D. Pipe rams. On your screen is a diagrammatic representation of ABOP stack. Hydraulic Power Drive Unit. A hydraulic power drive unit supplies hydraulic power to the coiled tubing system. It consists of an engine which drives hydraulic components through a gearbox. Power package has an air tank that supplies enough air capacity for engine starting and hydraulic tank for oil supply. They are sized to operate all the coiled tubing unit components. The prime mover assembly size will vary with hydraulic drive unit needs. Let us also have a look onto the position of hydraulic power unit or power pack. Control console. The control console designed for the coiled tubing unit may vary with manufacturers, but normally, all controls are positioned on one remote console panel. The console includes all the controls and gauges required to operate and monitor the coiled tubing unit components. This includes A. Red and injector heads are activated through valves that determine tubing motion direction at operating speed. B. Control system regulate the drive chain, stripper rubber, and blowout preventers. Now let us talk about coiled tubing operations. There are several well intervention operations that can be achieved via coiled tubing. These include Clean out and perforating the wellbore, as well as Retrieving and replacing damaged equipment. Additionally, some advances in coiled tubing allow for real-time downhole measurements that can be used in logging operations and wellbore treatments. Enhanced oil recovery, or EOR, processes, such as hydraulic and acid fracturing, can also be performed using coiled tubing. Furthermore, sand control and cementing operations can also be performed via coiled tubing. Coiled tubing is the fastest growing segment of the well service industry. Demand for dedicated workers is high. The whole idea behind the coiled tubing process is to perform service work deep inside a well as quickly and cost effectively as possible without shutting the well in. Coiled tubing is designed to work on live wells. 
To make this happen, companies like BJ Services will bring a continuous length of pipe to the well site on a giant spool. A single spool can be over 5,000 meters long. Crews of about four men must work as a team to ensure the tubing is properly placed and that strict safety standards are followed. Once the trucks are in position, a crane maneuvers a blowout prevent over the wellhead, since most wells are still active and under extreme pressure. There are a lot of connections and every one has to be tight. The heart of the coil tubing unit is the injector, shown here. It's a hydraulically driven device that lowers or raises the coil tubing from the well bore. Once the coil tubing is stabbed into the injector, the whole assembly is lowered onto the blowout preventer. When the all clear is given, the injector lowers the pipe. The coil tubing unit is left inside the well for as long as is required to perform a variety of different tasks. When they're done, the coil tubing is retrieved from the well and spooled back onto the truck and the crew rigs out and moves on to the next job. Coil tubing is a process that sometimes demands long hours. Service calls can happen any time of the day or night, sometimes with hardly an hour's notice. Right now, it's one of the most in-demand services in the industry. Thank you for learning with us.